This battery is dead. Never throw your old dead 9 volt batteries. Because in this video, I will show you how to test electronic components using it. You can use this hack or idea for testing many things. But I will test these Zener diodes, which I found hard to test using the DC power supply. Let me show why it was hard and how it made the work easier for me using these batteries. To explain why testing the Zener diode using the power supply was difficult. I will first show you how to test the Zener diode through the DC power supply. This is the symbol of the Zener diode. The symbol of a simple diode doesn't have these legs in it, as in the Zener diode. The positive side of the Zener diode is the anode, and the negative is the cathode. This is a double channel power supply through which I will test this Zener diode. Both channels are 33 and 33 volts. We can attach both channels in series and convert this DC power supply to almost 66 volts. The button to add the voltages of both channels is given here. By pressing this button, both the channel voltages are added together. Testing the 39 volts Zener diode on a 33 volts power supply is hard. Other than if we want to check the Zener diode of 152 and 172 volts, I will use those old batteries, which I never threw away. I will explain you that in a while. You can see this Zener diode. One side of the Zener diode is black. And the other is completely orange. The black side of the diode is the negative side, and the other leg is the positive. This is another Zener diode that has its negative side pin blue in color. Numbers are engraved on these diodes. Which can tell you what is the voltage of that specific Zener diode. Now I will test this diode using the power supply. Take a 2 kilo ohms resistor, and attach it to the negative pin of the Zener diode in series. Now attach power supply probes with the components. The positive probe will be attached to the resistor on the cathode side of the Zener diode. The negative probe will attach to the anode. After this, set the multimeter to DC volts. I will turn on the power supply. Now I will check the voltages on the pins of the Zener diode. 15 volts are passing through the Zener diode. This means as we have passed 33 volts as input, we are getting 15 volts as the output on the diode. This means this is a 15 volt Zener diode. I will now check the higher voltage Zener diode. This is a 39 volts Zener diode. And it is hard to figure out the voltages of this diode. Let me explain to you why. As I am checking the voltages of this Zener diode, the Zener diode is showing us the same voltages on this diode, as it is a 39 volts Zener diode. For testing this Zener diode, I will put the power supply in series. And attach the negative probe with the second channel negative terminal. I will turn on the power supply. If I check the voltages from the power supply, 66 volts are now passing through the circuit. Now I will check the voltages across the Zener diode. Now it is showing us 39 volts across the Zener diode. It is confirmed that this is a 39 volts Zener diode. The hard part is that checking a component of more than 66 volts gets difficult. Now you can see these old 9 volt batteries, which I never throw away when they go dead. This battery is completely dead. I will remove it. The batteries with some voltages, I keep them with me, as this battery is showing 7 volts. All of these old dead batteries have some life left in them. I will attach them as series because when we attach wire or anything in a series, the voltage gets doubled. I will attach all these batteries and start testing the component. This component is a very high voltage Zener diode, which I will test through the voltage bank I made through the batteries. This is an SMD diode. I have soldered pins on it to install it on the breadboard. These are the 9 volt battery connectors, through which I will check the diode on the breadboard. I will attach both the connectors with the batteries. Let's check how many voltages we are getting through our battery bank. We are getting 70 volts from these batteries, which is more than the power supply. Now I will attach the wire from the battery with the component we will check. I have told you where to attach the negative and positive wire with the Zener diode. We are getting 70 volts on the Zener diode, 
which is the same as the input supply. I have more batteries, I will increase the capacity of this battery bank. Let's check what voltages we get on this Zener diode. But first, I am checking how many voltages are we getting now from our battery power supply. I am getting about 206 DC voltages from this power supply. Now I will check how many voltages I get on the Zener diode. 135 volts are across the pin of this Zener diode. This means this is a 135 volt Zener diode. You can also use this power supply for testing many other high voltages components. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.